And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some River Shaper Fiora. This is going to be our next deck trying out a, not a new card, but a card that has been updated and that's River Shaper. Now River Shaper is, uh, has two health. So it's a 2-2 instead of a 2-1 like it was before. So it's just more likely that our River Shaper is going to be uh, surviving and basically striking and drawing a spell. You know, when it had the one health before, it was really easy to kill it with a Vile Feast or a Make It Rain or a Withering Whale or all sorts of like things that could just deal damage to it before it was able to strike and draw a spell. And now it should be striking and drawing a spell all the time at least once um you know at the very least and then you know we have our ways to protect it we got our barriers we got shen we got stuff like that this is just like my zed shen deck that i played the other day except for uh replacing laurent protege and zed with fiora and river shaper <laughs> and then just kind of also making some other adjustments like um took out will of ionia with will of ionia now costing five mana we're gonna play uh concerted strikes instead because concerted strike is also have like that does have our allies strike and that's good for river shaper because you know whenever it strikes draws a spell and of course that's also good with fiora to be able to try to kill things also with 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 will of ionia being more expensive than your uh spells like judgment that would usually be getting blown out by will of ionia i think that these may start to creep into the format more maybe you see more cards like judgment and um unyielding spirit and things like that where usually you wouldn't want to play those against Will of Ionia. But there may be less Will of Ionia. So maybe this judgment can uh, get some work done. Especially if people... I was thinking that this would be a good time to have judgment. Also, if people are going to be trying out new Jinx and new discard cards like we were just playing, maybe other people are trying that too. And so they're going wide. And then boom, judgment just uh, ruins their day. So that's what I want to try. Okay. All right, so let's let's try it out. Let's try new River Shaper. We got a bunch of new stuff. We got a new board. This is gonna be very first time playing on this board. We got the new icon also. Take a look at that. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I don't even know what the music's gonna sound like with this board. It's gonna be the first time. Let's see what it's like. It's true that Judgment not great against Frostbite. That is true. Yeah, we could we could get that Judgment Fiora win out of nowhere. That would be nice. All right, hand looks good. Yeah, I went... So last time we played this, I had one, I think I had one single combat, one single combat, one concerted strike, I think, and two will of Ionia. I think I had like those four, and now I have two single combat, two concerted strike. I do kind of want to play three concerted strike. I, I did want to play three concerted strike. That was my 41st card of like whenever I was, uh, you know, trimming it down to 40. Um, the judgment could be another, could be the concerted strike. You know, like this, that was kind of like what I did is to find room for judgment. I took out the strike. Um. My shield is yours. I think it's just good pressure wise to get the three power unit in play right away. Good call. So that's what the clicking does. And then the petting. Gives you heart kisses. Water changes but never breaks. So you can interact with like the trees. The leaves. I need more Who was this thing? Honor guide 
So playing River Shaper here, because I kind of figured that Fleet Feather Tracker would be um, challenging their unit, and then maybe our River Shaper gets to strike, stay alive, draw a spell, stay alive. Oh, you can't see that thing. Um, one second. There. All right, I'm gone. That's what it does. Doesn't really do anything else, but it does that. I want to go home. And I'm back. Yeah, super chill music, super chill spirit blossom music. Just leave me alone. <laughs> this is what puppy looks like whenever I'm eating food. Just like that. <laughs> Just look looking at me like that. Uh yes, I I can do that. Dr. Dope, I can do that. Um Basically, use anything to create decks. Okay. I am perfectly fine with that. A gift from the river folk. We get to keep River Shaper out. We get to draw a spell. Which drawing spells is definitely very useful. You'd rather draw a spell than draw a unit. It makes River Shaper good because you know it can find more protection for it, find more protection for. Fiora. I long for a worthy opponent. Next turn we're looking at six mana, so we're looking at being able to play Bright Seal Protector and have one of these two I've got your back. available. Batter him! No one goes hungry. I I can deal some damage. Cause they gonna die. Um I think I go with bearer -ing, bearer -ing. I mean, I also don't have to go barrier, right? I could. I mean, I could just go straight to attacks. Challenge war chefs, challenge that, strike with river shaper. It's not bad. Sweep them away. Let's do that. Okay, I can either cast Refuge or Repost, or my Fiora is at zero. I could honestly just play new Fiora. I mean, that would cost three mana if I was going to play the Repost anyway. Cost less mana. I think I'll just do that. Up, <laughs> Go draw another spell. Take. Cool. I'm like getting this caretaker in play. Take a look at this. Or we start playing at some barriers. New recruit reporting in. Always two steps ahead. River Shaper is pretty sweet. You know, like we've just drawn a Spirit's Refuge and a Repost because of that River Shaper. My strength is yours. Is it? Their pride will cost them. Anybody they challenge here, we can repost and kill the five five. with everything. Oh, thanks, Shreeb. Good call. I didn't adjust the carrot up here. Stomach. We're now playing River Shaper Fiora, and we are currently 
zero and zero. Okay, so we will be reposting and strike. there, and I'm going to life steal here, My life for and the I'll just take the six, which is really going to be like one. Yeah, ju Judgment wouldn't work perfectly in that spot. Fire board alert. Yeah, the board is fire. My shield is yours. Okay. You have been challenged. Strike quickly, strike death. Oh, you have yeah. been challenged. Batter him! No one goes hungry! Halt! We'll go draw another spell with River Shaper. <laughs> Two down. River Shaper looking good. Gift from the river folk. Sweet. The Those two spells that we drew earlier were both very useful against that guys, Genevieve Elmart. Ugh, can't quite have Judgment and Barrier both available. Great Horn Scout. Great Horn Companion, no, I think Scout. Uh, let's... Uh, strike this with the River Shaper and the Fiora. We want to do River Shaper first. Um, oh no! And then Fiora second, so then Fiora will get the kill. Alright, that was pretty sweet. Um... Which card has my favorite voice actor? I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm sure there's one that... If I'd go through and listen to him, I could tell you, but I, I don't know it off the top of my head. I mean, they a lot of them sound... Yeah, a lot of them sound good. Yeah, and you're, you're going by just by sound there. A lot of them are... like Yeah, a lot of them sound good. There's definitely one that I like, that I really like, that I like repeat the lines quite a bit. I can't think of which one it is, though. Oh, you like Brash Gamblers. Okay, that wasn't one that I was thinking of. Oh, uh, Twisted Fate. I think I like I like Twisted Fate. Howdy, partner. That's a great one. That's I don't know, I thought of that after you, you said the Brash Gamblers. I guess that's the Texan in me. We got other votes for Cat of the Arm, Basilisk Rider. All right, River Shaper Shen. I like those two. We're going to mulligan the others and see if we can get a little bit faster start. I like mulliganing spells kind of in general. We'll be doing okay drawing some spells. We are playing against the best deck in Rune Terra with Frostbite midrange. So likely going to be a tough matchup. 
Yeah, Kit. You got two damage in. Nothing can stop me. Nothing? Really? Nothing? Nothing. Water changes, but never breaks. Charge! For glory! You're mine! River Shaper sounds pretty cool. Hmm. So they... Face me! Alright, alright. <laughs> yep. Waters are still. This is going to be a tough hand to beat. Mm. Just don't really like within the flows of magic. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be playing Shen. I... Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I do like these things can't block. Basically, since these things can't block, that's why I went River Shaper. And Brittle Steel is busted. All right, I'll have the six mana for Stand United, that we can potentially keep both of our things alive. Only the finest serve. Wow, what a hand! Ouch. Uh... Yeah, I mean that's that's just pretty great. I'll cut them apart. For glory, you're mine. Face me. Noxus. I'm down to six. A gift from the river folk. Eat up, friend. By my blade. Yeah, that was a great hand for them. And the double brittle steel, in particular. And then obviously the Assessor draw, draw three cards. So they pass with eight mana. They're going to just pass back and they just waste their turn. That is very enticing. However... It is very enticing just to have them waste their turn and eight mana. And I don't... It's like they'll waste seven mana or five. They waste five mana. I only waste one. Yeah, I like, I like pass back. So I, I do need to just try to play defense and stay alive and not I don't want to let them just play a whole whole bunch more things. Cold. Not exactly what I want. Um two worlds, one balance. One balance for conquest. So I'm planning, on, I've played Shen because now I have the mana for Stand United. That's kind of my plan here, Stand United. I'll show you how it's done. The King Koo go where they are needed. I have no time for fools. This is me taking zero damage. Currently. 
even though I, I could have, you know, I would have drawn a spell if I would do it on the River Shaper, but then I take three damage, and I just don't think that I can afford to take three damage too much. Pulling Strike is great against me. Um, yeah, I could have also done Swift Wing plus Concerted Strike. If you, I guess Swift Wing plus Concerted Strike, they would have killed whatever you would have Concerted struck in. Fiora's at zero out of two. That's not very much. Yeah, that is a new a new support thing that they got going on. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this. Obviously, they can have any frostbite card, like even brittle steel. I can't deal with brittle steel or anything. But obviously, harsh winds, brittle steel, anything. Flash freeze that counts. Can't deal with any of those. If I don't if I don't play it, we'll have twelve mana next turn. Which is a perfect amount for repost and judgment. What form will the waters take? I will unite the frail yard. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. That's not good. Cool. That is really not good. Bristle, the Ash. Watch That's another Frostbite work. card. I was going risky of... I'll lead us to victory. I mean, I can't even block with that thing. Yeah, that Ash. They just had it all. That was a, just an amazing hand for them. GG's. We will regain what we have lost. When do you do you need an Ash Sejuani deck code? Yeah, repost judgment would would kill three things, not four. Well, wait. Yeah, like as far as repose Fiora, but Fiora couldn't even block. Um, so like Fiora, Fiora would have dealt that. If I would have done it on the, if I would do it on the River Shaper, River Shaper is only going to five power, and it still doesn't, still doesn't kill the Sejuani, and the Sejuani overwhelm kills me. So it does it doesn't work on the doesn't work on on the river shaper either. But that was my plan was gonna be to repost the Fiora and attack it, it just or and, and try to kill four things and win. That was gonna be my plan. Ash shut me down. Uh let's get rid of those. I don't know. I hope not, Kordak. I mean, that's that's just something that other people in chat have to answer. 
They have a kit also. Yeah, we'll play play this green glade caretaker. Why not? I am one with the land. One with the land. Gonna cast Will of Ionia, five mana? No. Not quite. It's close. So I'm gonna go straight to. Hmm. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm gonna go straight to combat so that that they wouldn't. The fate of mortal. So they wouldn't be able to have another Static Shock and kill both Green Glade Caretakers, but I guess that's just how it is. I'm not attacking. I'm sorry, Kordak. shape the land and give it life. River shape the land and give it life. Okay, let's see. Let's go with um just attack out like this. Basically. Head to the base. Can't fight on an empty stomach. The dragon binds us. I see every move. Let's go with, we could go stand united and have them stun my war chefs, or maybe just have them stun this other caretaker. The king could go where they are needed. Keep the caretakers alive. I mean, I, I would like to single combat with the River Shaper, but um, I also would just want to kill this Eye of the Dragon. <laughs> five mana will, it hurts. Yeah, five mana, bounce a one mana card. That's the thing about Will of Ionia being so expensive. It's just, is it going to be to the point like where, like why, why would you play interaction? Because it just costs more than threats, right? Like it's just, why would you not just play threat? Nature blesses her followers. We each the interaction so expensive. I'm, I'm not a fan of five mana Will of Ionia. I don't think that that was a necessary nerf. That's my take on it. And I'm not somebody who is over here playing a bunch of Will of Ionia, so it's not like I'm or like you know in control. It's not like I'm a, a big control fan. I just don't think that that was a necessary nerf. 
myself. Your place is still in the most All right, so that levels up Shen. I think I keep Repost available. I think that's better than playing the tracker. Ezreal is leveled up. You can see you can see how like drawing extra spells is that's helpful. Um, I I do kind of want to just take my turn to play Tracker and then Elmhart. Oh, I could, maybe I should just go straight to attacks. I mean, it's just it's like the three twos block these two things. I think I want to go Tracker then Elmhart. Like this game's over. My heart longs well, for the poetry of maybe not. You will not live long. No, it still probably is. It must be done. Intruders! Engulf them. Who goes there? Hold nothing back. But they have to block that Your 17 too, obvious. right? But they still take way too much damage. Okay, GG's. Everything yeah, that, that tech looks really, really tough to play now with five mana Will of Ionia and a one two Shadow Assassin. That looks pretty tough. River Shaper being awesome. We two and one. Yeah, I mean, I if I'm them, I'm playing River Shaper instead of Shadow Assassin. Rather just have the two two. Try to strike and draw a card with that. One one two just doesn't doesn't trade well enough. Twisted Fate Jinx. This could be pretty aggressive. This could be these things dying, or it could be like Casino, like where they go cycle a whole bunch of stuff and dig through the deck. We'll see. I like triple one drop. Triple one drop, pretty cool. And then the Shen goes well with the one drops. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. I'm gonna brag about it. Putting study into practice. My life. <laughs> Anybody else think it's kind of weird that they nerfed Ionia so much and then give you like this Ionia board and like this this season that's like kind of it seems like the Ionia season? And they're like, all right, to kick off our like season of blossom Ionia stuff with, with this cool board, we're going to nerf the two best Ionia cards. Go have fun. Um. I am yeah, one with we'll the land. The 
The thing about not playing that one two is then I would have been able to have prismatic barrier available right now. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Okay, but we good. We got a couple Stan Uniteds, a Prismatic Barrier. Our thing's gonna get gonna be getting big. Let's go with let's just use a Stan United. That happens. I'd rather I'd rather one of these caretakers die than a Shen than the Shen die because the Shen's at two out of four as far as leveling up. Now we just untap, attack immediately. I find them unworthy. Now it's at three out of four and we got Prismatic Barrier. To level it up. I could go. Yet, I could go with another Stand United action. and deal a bunch of damage, but we'll we'll save that. It wouldn't be lethal damage. We'll just save that. Dirty Strike, hopefully take down this Jinx before she gets too out of hand. Never mind, killing Brash Gambler, for sure. Alright, so I, I hope they don't draw, like, Jury Rig. They should be attacking. I don't know why they didn't attack. They had a free attack. Three, two. Is that a lot of damage? I think that's a lot of damage. The old one mana, 23, two. <laughs> it's balanced because it has two health. Balanced. So close, 99 combat damage. Ugh, these people need to not concede. They need to let me strike. Me so close. Yeah, I think they... I, I agree. I think that... that uh, Shadow Assassin could be a 2-1. Two, two, a two just try that out where it's a lot easier to kill. I, I think that would have been a good change. Like Just make it super easy to Withering Whale and, and stuff like that. And make it rain. All that kind of things. 1-2 is, is just much, much weaker than a 2-1. Um, but yeah, I also agree that it could have gone 1-3. That, that maybe would have been more interesting. 1-3 would have really helped out defensive decks more. Um, you know, like defensive versions of Shadow Assassin. But I don't know, 1-2. I am not excited about that thing being a 1-2. Okay, Brahma Nivia is going to be difficult. Do I keep all these? 
I think so. This is going to be a tough matchup. I could, I could definitely see us losing this. Spell that a bite to cook it. These old eyes still see far and clear. Play Shen. Or do we go to attacks? I play Shen. Two worlds, one balance. We need one balance. I sense an imbalance. Oh god. No one goes hungry. I as it had to be. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um I could have passed. You know, they had all that mana, and again, this is just a quick pass to me. I mean I don't have anything to do this turn. Fury is the best removal spell. Light the signal fires. Don't feel like I need to play more things into Ruination. Welcome to the Tipsy Hour. Outside. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Strike without worry. go stand united but then they kill war chefs i'd be i'd be spending six mana and sacrificing my war chefs just to get rid of a vengeance um i don't think that's really worth it i'm gonna play this kind of evil heart oh i guess i have a million other fioras in the end um my strength is yours Yeah, Fury doesn't seem like it should be burst speed, does it? Does Fury seem like it should be burst speed? Fury of the North? Doesn't that seem kind of weird? Here in your time of need. Oh, 
so Fiora will be leveled up. This will be quick. <laughs> because they play a bunch of Ruinations and they have millions of cards in hand. I'm not I'm not playing other stuff because of Ruination. We already got good enough battlefield. Now let's play that card, I suppose. Uh, You're covered. Not a winning battle. Sweepers are still good. Combining Withering Whales and Avalanches and Ruinations. That's difficult for my little units to defeat. don't have any damage things in hand if they're doing that. Gonna trade Stand United and 3-1 Bright Seal Protector for 4-1 Fiora. Like, is that a good trade? Using both of those resources to get a 4-1 Fiora in play? This is just not... This is not good. They have too many. These woods protect their own. Too many like sweepers and two for ones and stuff like that for my tech that doesn't have card advantage that just requires. This is our We're not going to be dying right away, but we didn't have a chance of winning. There was no, there was no end goal of winning in that game anymore. That that's a tough matchup, especially once they start playing Avalanche too, Avalanche and Withering Well and Ruination, like all of that. That's that's really good against our just you know Demacia units and Barrier. The not not the matchup that we want to end up with, but. Uh, besides that, our deck looked pretty good. You know, like the uh, the mid range frostbite also is just just a really good deck, so that's that's going to be a struggle. But River Shaper was really good. I wish like that would have been a good matchup to have River Shaper. Like that's that's exactly where River Shaper could have shined. Like where we, where we could try to protect River Shaper, keep drawing spells with River Shaper, and therefore draw more units with our draw steps. Um, you know that kind of stuff. The 
the Fury of the North that they had on turn four to kill my Shen, that was big. That was big. That really hurt. Um, and then, you know, like our, our late game draws, obviously we don't want Caretaker, Fleet Feather Tracker, Warships. You know, you don't want to draw your one and two mana units in the late game. You want to draw like your Swiftwing Lancers and stuff. This is an, you know, basically our, our two cards that generate card card advantage or swift wing lancer and river shaper and those are the so those are arguably the two most important cards for us in that matchup and we had we didn't have either one but that's all right um yeah judgment was stuck in hand never used judgment um you know that that's that's again just a card that i'm kind of trying out uh in that matchup unyielding spirit is amazing and think of like whenever you know whenever they vengeanced my fiora right there we just stuck we had we had the mana and we just had this judgment that wasn't doing anything that would have been a great matchup to have unyielding spirit instead of judgment um and you know you'll have to kind of see what happens with the metagame if there's just less and less will of ionia and will of ionia just isn't around maybe unyielding spirit's the way to go maybe maybe we should be playing that instead of judgment um you know like that that could that could definitely be a card to switch out there you can also play another copy of concerted strike that's also a good card to play um you can also play a back-to-back -back, another great trick and heck the the less the less will of ionia the better dawn and dust is gonna be that's that's something but so those are those are some other options here for this one of you know like we're we're just kind of trying stuff out but i like back-to-back -back. i like unyielding spirit and i also like um concerted strike go and play another one of those so those are all those are all options bryce yield formation is amazing against other demacia decks if the format turns into a big mid-range battle with a lot of demacia decks this is the thing that destroys demacia mirrors and then you you definitely want to include one bright seal formation if that's the case because this card just uh is impossible to beat in the mirror basically um, I guess Unyielding Spirit does. And if, again, if Unyielding Spirit becomes popular, then then you probably want one one uh, Will of Ionia. You know, you can go back and play a Will of Ionia. It's not unplayable. You can still play it at five mana. So, that, like, there's some ways to customize this deck. But it was really interesting to, to play River Shaper and see the strength of River, Sha River Shaper, especially in our earlier games. Got to play this card quite a bit, and it looked good, and I liked it. I like this thing as a 2 2. I'm expecting to play a decent amount of River Shaper moving forward, and we're going to have this card in the Yasuo Z deck that we're going to be playing in two decks after this. So that'll be exciting. Trying this in a Yasuo deck, basically replacing Shadow Assassin, and so we'll see. Uh, how it does as a replacement. I don't expect it to be as good as old Shadow Assassin, but I think it could be better than new Shadow Assassin in those kind of decks. All right, that's it here for River Shaper Fiora. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button, of course, and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of patch 1.6. What cards do you want to see? What kind of decks do you want to see? All that kind of stuff. What are you excited about? Let me know how you're liking the Spirit Blossom event. I've been definitely enjoying that myself. That looks pretty sweet like it's just just awesome just more ways to earn rewards and things like that anyway thank you so much for watching some river shaper fiora and i'll see you for the next video